Hey everyone, this is Stephen KC Railpin here, and welcome to another model railroading video. So today, I'm going to do a little bit of an update on my Southwest Chief. As you can see, I have my Consys right here, because as you can see, I have a few of my Superliners. Because now you can see, I have I have a total of have this. I have one of the cars I have is I have the is the coach baggage. So we'll move on forward. And here is the dining car, which is really nice. And here is the sleeper. I have the sleeper right here. And also, here's the transition sleeper, which is basically I think this is for the, the sleeping car for the for the Amtrak employees, you know, like that work on board the train. So I have this. And of course the baggage car, which I've had this for a, quite a while. Because I've been using that a lot in the River Runners, but now I have my own view iron baggage car. So that, that's four. Because apparently the transition sleeper and the sleeper, I didn't do a video unboxing on these because I was hoping I'd wait till I finished the entire Southwest Chief. So I got these two, the sleeper and transition sleeper from from Lombard Hobbies. And the dining car, which is something I found off of eBay, which and this one I just purchased at my local train store, the coach baggage. So there's that. So as you know, I began collecting these starting since February. So here it is. And then I also have some new ones, which will finally complete the Southwest Chief for now. Because nowadays, like just like the Southwest Chief I've been seeing videos of, as of right now, as in the 2020s era, they've been pulling like now at least like six superliners for a regular consist. So what I have here is I I have two new superliners that I recently got as of this as of last week. So they're also from Lombard Hobbies because you know I just I basically just decide to like buy two for one week and then another one for another week. So that completes it. So the first one I have right here is the is the lounge and the last one is the regular coach to finish this yes don't mind the the Japanese symbols on this because as you know these products were built in Jap were made in Japan so because also because I know there's also Kato also does does like trains that are from Japan as well but this is actually Kato USA which is headquartered in Illinois so I'll do a little bit of an unboxing for you guys so you can see what they look like. Just slides off like this. Quite simple. And it's got like the it's got like the manual and all that such. And like how to replace couplers, but I'm not gonna replace couplers. So here's so here it is. Here's one of the cars. This is the lounge. Looks very nice. Look at that. It's I love the interior they did. The interior is really nicely done. And I just love those big windows because you know, if you ever on board Amtrak and you go there, you can get lots of good views when you're traveling. You can see like the scenery and such. It's really cool. I love the lounge car. Wow, that looks very stunning. Indeed, and especially in the new phase five, in the new phase five or six scheme, because it's even though some people say it's phase six, but you can you can say phase five if you like, but it really doesn't matter to me. So there's that. So then I'll show you the next one. This is the coach. So that's what the coach looks like. Very nice. Looks absolutely very stunning. Wow. So. So there, there's the two to complete the tra the Southwest Chief. So I'm gonna get these both on the tracks, and then we'll possibly do a little bit of a review on these. I might try and do a review of all six of these Superliners as well. All right, so now here's the first Superliner we'll do a review on. This is the this is the transition sleeper. So you can see the transition sleeper. It's got like a lower apartment passageway of some sort. This is basic because basically it's usually the first car of the train because you know such as like when it's got the baggage car it's up front and then it has this 
basically I think it's what it does for crews to get access into the the baggage car. So I can I'll show you what it looks like. So here's this. So I, I have one of my baggage cars right here. This is the view liner. So you know, try and connect it together. As you can see, they match perfectly together. It's very nice. And uh, and that obviously all the Kato super lines you can see is even the bearing cast rotate. So I'll show you. So let me show you guys again. You can see that they, they rotate. There's that. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put the baggage car back onto the other track. And then you can see the interiors are really nicely done too, and also the paint looks also nicely done too. It's very nice. I love the interior. Be good. Because you can see, you can see it's got like you know. I think I think these are all the, like the the cabins, the room cabins that basically where the crews sleep, and also the passenger. And also where passengers sleep on the regular sleeping car. So there's that. It's very nice. And it's also got some more than I believe details are are fully installed. And I'll show you the other side. So here's that. It's got really nice couplers too. And also I think the marker lights do not light up because the because I have a, a non-lit version. Because all six of the super lines I have are not lit, so there's that. And I'll show you the roof detail. Roof detail is actually very nice. Really nice and crisp. And then here's the underbody detail. Looks really nice. I think this what this does is like, I think this is where you put like you can install your own lighting and such. But that's not what I'm gonna plan to do. So you can see and all the in here at the trucks. Nicely done. Here's the detail. All that. That's really cool. So that's that. Let's get that out of the way. So there's the transition sleeper. So next, we're going to move on to the next superliner. All right. So now the second car we're going to look over is the regular sleeping car. So you can see the sleeper car is pretty nice. It's got, as you know, lots of great detail. You know, it doesn't have much detail, but at least it's pretty, pretty nice. Even for rolling stock that costs about like, you know, the regular price of MSRP of $105, but I got this for about like $73, like $72.99 to be exact. So it's got a really nice interior. You can see the interior inside. There's the I believe this section I have right here is the is basically where all the cabins are. So that is basically where the passengers can sl relax and sleep during the night. You know they can like do anything like you know and all that. You know they can play like card games or just connect to Wi-Fi and watch some movies on their laptops or such like that or their iPads. So. You know, it's it's quite nice. I just love this, this interior. You can see. You can see. And then I believe the bottom part, from what I heard, is basically like... is basically like, you know, the compartments... is like family rooms, which is basically like, say, like a family of four can sleep on the bottom. Because the top part is usually just only for bits like two people. And such. So there's that. And the trucks, as you can see, are a little bit different compared to the, the transition sleeper because the transition sleeper is a Superliner 2. This is a Superliner 1. And there's detail. The sleeping car. It's very nicely detailed. And it's very nice. And there's that and then also these things are basically just molded on so 
So basically they don't have like some sort of spring action to them compared to like some of the amplitudes I have. You know, like the Bachman and Walters amplitudes. So there's that. It's really nice. Now I'll show you the other side. So here's what it looks like on the other side. You can see. I believe this side is basically all that. I believe. I think this is where the interiors are. If I if I'm not mistaken, I can't. it's really hard to tell. Because I'm not sure which side is the is like considered like the hallways and such, or which which side is the one where the passengers can get a view of the outside. But it's really nice. Very good detail wise on this on the sleeper car. So there's that. So Alright, so now let's move on to the third one. Next up is the dining car. So you can see the dining car doesn't have much windows. So as, you can, as you can see, the dining car does not have any windows on the bottom. Because usually on the bottom, from what I did my research on, I hear usually the bottom is like one portion is the kitchen, which is basically where like the cooks and chefs prepare the food for the passengers on the lower level. And I believe also on the lower level is the snack bar car, which is basically a, for a place. It's like also... It's like something that you see on the cafe cars, on like the single level Amtrak cars. You know, basically they, it's basically like, you know, where passengers can buy like small food, like a small pizza, small sandwiches, like, or a burger and all that such in the cafe car. Or if they want to get like a small drink and all that such. Or get anything like, you know, like, they also can get like other non-food items. Like, because according to some like the menu I see, they also contain things like, you know, some medicines and all that such. I think they have those on board. So, it's as you can see, it's got a really nice interior on the top. This is basically, the top part is basically where the passengers could, like, dine in and eat. And eat either breakfast, lunch, or dinner while on the train. So, you can see. It's got really nice interiors. Because you can see, if you walk through, there are tables on both sides. There's that. And then there's the center. I believe this is the portion where the passengers can go down and like to the snack bar and all that such. I believe it's on this side, but I think right here is like the kitchen and all that. So there's that. It's very nice. You can see I love the interior they did. You can see. You can see the chairs and tables, which is where where the passengers passengers can dine in while on the train. It's really cool. And the trucks are nicely done too. Which is, this is another Super Lion one. So, as always, rotating bearing caps. On that. And the same thing here. Not much on this, this side, but it's still cool. So, so now, there's the dining car. Now we'll move on to number, to the fourth Super Liner. Alright, so now we moved on to the fourth Super Liner. This is probably my favorite one. Out of the Super Liners, because this is the lounge car. Now the lounge car, as you can see, it's got really big windows, and they have, and you can see, if you look really carefully, look at the interior work on they did. Look at that. This is basically, you know, all the cool. Look at that. That is amazing. Awesome. You can see all the the seats and such, the bottom, and there's even, even, on the lower level as well. Looks really nicely done too. Very nice. So, the lounge car is basically like the basically the passenger car where basically where passengers can just come in here and just enjoy the view and just relax down here and then just check out the windows and see like sceneries or other cool stuff when they when traveling through the countryside. It's very cool. You know, there's seats and such. You know, people can just sit here and do all sorts of things. You know. Because, here's that. Because, you know, from what I heard, because for those who've never seen, like, There Goes a Train, because I know the main character of the, of the film, uh, Engineer Dave, <laughs> got caught sleeping on the job, so he barely, and then he had to go to the dining car. Because for those, those who love There Goes a Train, I just love that film. It makes you think of, Amtrak basically makes you think of There Goes a Train. Every So, every time I think of Amtrak, I think of There Goes a Train. <laughs> but anyways, moving on, you can see lots of great detail. Anyways, wow, very stunning. 
indeed. So, there's that. I just gotta say, this is actually really nicely well done. I'm really glad that that Kato did a great job on these super liners. So, there's that. So now we'll move on to number five. Alright, so number five is the regular coach. So you can see the coach is really nicely done too. As you can see, I'll show you guys. It's got a very nice interior. So basically, this is basically where, like, I believe the coach is basically used for, like, passengers who, are, who want to travel, like, halfway through their destination. Like, you know, like, because I know sleeping cars, like, basically are meant for, like, people who travel all the way from, like, between L.A. and Chicago. But those who, who have to stop part ways throughout their journey, usually have to take this, usually are in the coach car. So, there's that. You can see very nice interior. Looks very nice and done. And then here's the the bottom. You can see. It's really nicely done too. Because from from what I know about the coach car is that the coaches are basically well, like the interiors I be they basically look like airline styled seating. So it makes you think like you're on an airplane but you're just traveling on the ground. But I think the the seats look uncomfortable even though I from what I heard but Anyways, this is actually really cool. I actually think this is pretty nicely detailed. Well, it's Amtrak Superliner, so it's very nice. The paint work. Let me zoom in on this. Wow. Absolutely nice. Because I just love the details they put on the bottom, like to say, so, they, so you can know what kind of Superliner it is when you board your Amtrak train. So, so there's that. So now we'll move on to the sixth and final Superliner next. Alright, so basically here's the last one. This is the coach baggage. You can see the coach baggage is a lot different than the regular coach. Did you get, as you can see, it's got like a door hanging up underneath. I think this is where the baggage compartment is. Yeah. And then basically these windows down here are, are sealed because I'm pretty sure at the bottom level is basically where, where all the baggage is stored for the passengers. Because I think there's no access to the bottom level because I think the bottom level is basically meant for the Amtrak crew employees only so it's got same as always you know got a nice interior on the top you know there's all that it's very nice and all that so lots of good detail so all these deep so basically it's very nice. I just love the interior work they did on these so so yeah, so anyways, my conclusion of the Amtrak Superliners, as you can see, they're all nicely well done. I just, they, they roll really nice and smooth, and they, they fit around my curves really well, because they can fit on 22-inch curves really well, but even though they're recommended, it's 24. But since 22 is a bit wide enough, because I had no issues with, with putting like longer rolling stocks going around 22-inch radius curves, and they cause no problems, so... Anyway, so now I'm going to set this super liner back. Back. So, it's coupled back up. So there it is. So now I'm going to pull the back. So I'm going to pull them back so you can see. So there they are. So, you can see there's the baggage. The trices and sleeper. The sleeper. Dining. The lounge. Coach, and the coach baggage. So, that's basically the completed set of the of the superliners, basically for for a Southwest Chief. Because I'm not sure if I plan on making it a little bit longer in the future. If I plan to get more superliners, like maybe I might get a couple more Kados with like the different row number, or maybe I could try and find like a Walters one. If if either if it's in the face, either in the phase five or six scheme. So so anyways. So those that's basically the the update and also did a little quick reviews on each all six of the superliners. So hope you guys enjoyed this video of the superliner. I'll be sure to run this in future operating sessions. So stay tuned for that coming later in the spring season or so. So so anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll leave you guys a, some clips of some sneak peek clips about what you're about to see in 
of the Southwest Chief. So there are basically going to be some sneak peek clips that you'll see in future operating sessions. So, I'll do. so anyways, so hope you guys enjoyed this review and update video, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, have a good day, everybody.